It may seem like the most natural thing on the planet to have the police deal with traffic enforcement. We're all used to seeing that. It's familiar to us. But is it as normal as it seems and is it as necessary? The benefits of police traffic enforcement are actually not well documented. There are studies, but they are too few. The cost of traffic enforcement, though, are huge. So racial profiling, which we hear about a great deal of the time, and also uh, people get injured, both the officers and people that they stop. Police officers impose, give people tickets that impose fines and fees that become crushing, particularly for impacted communities, minority communities. So the question is, are there other ways to deal with traffic enforcement than the police? Now, why do the police stop people? One reason, of course, that you think is traffic safety. But in many jurisdictions, the vast majority of the stops are not for traffic safety. They are a tool to fight violent crime. This is something that's been promoted by the U.S. Department of Justice and advanced throughout the country. We worked on a study in Nashville, Tennessee, along with Stanford's Computational Policy Lab, to see whether the police were successful at fighting violent crime by stopping people, especially because those stops had serious racial disparities. And we found that there was absolutely no relationship, none, between stopping people to fight violent crime and its effect on violent crime. And as a result, Nashville has reduced its traffic stops by 60%.